guys, it's Kashiba, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. So, uh, we arrived to the city where campus is, and we're gonna explore it for a little while before we go into the school. And I also figured out my audio problem, so I can now hear the game as I'm recording it. I, I guess, like... It should have been obvious. I mean, I had my headphones plugged into my computer instead of my Switch. So I couldn't hear my audio. I thought I could hear it from OBS, but I couldn't. So I decided, you know what? I'll plug it into my headphone jack and my Switch and it works. So, I mean, whatever. But unfortunately, I still have to play from this tiny box on OBS until I can get a double HDMI port video capture card. Oh my God, why do these NPCs walk so jankly? Like, you know, when I heard this game had a lot of bugs and glitches, I definitely see what they mean. Anyway, let's go explore. I wanna get rid of this ugly ass hat cause I hear there's a clothing shop around here. What is this? Is this a cafe? Sabri's Cafe, space to relax away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Okay. Oh shit, look at all this. Interesting, like what is all this type of stuff? Humongo power? What is humongo power? What is teensy power? I'm confused as to what any of this means. I guess call me an idiot, but... Where's the clothing store? That's what I care about. That is also food. I went the wrong direction, didn't I? That's my guess. What is this? What the hell is- what is all that? Hang on, I wanna go in. Sure cans. Our can-do attitude is sure to leave you smiling. Wow. Okay. Sure, what do you- what- A banana. A strawberry. A tomato and a pickle. Oh, is this for when I pick up the picnicking stuff? No, I don't need any tempting, thank you. Is this a bookstore? Oh, I can't even walk in, Never mind. This place is huge. Well, I think that's for Pokemon. Where are the clothes? Oh, is this Deli Bird presents? Uh, Nomona Remeke. Wow, wow, English. Oh, I guess it's not. I was gonna say Nomona recommended it to me. Okay, well, I think I went the wrong direction. I think I should have gone left. I don't want to go to the school, so we're going to backtrack. BRB. All right, hair, clothes. No, this looks like coffee. Wait, it, there was one on the... What? Why is there two? I don't want it. I want... Excuse me. I want... Hair and clothes, that's what I care about. Why are there three locations? Excuse me, where is the hair and clothes? What is the, what is this place? Uh, it doesn't open, okay. Excuse me, does anyone know where the hair and clothing place is? This is going to be the majority of the video, me trying to find what I'm looking for. Go for broke grill. Oh my god. No, I am looking for... 
The hair salon. Uh, hair salon? Clothes? That's what I'm looking for. Is this the can place? Wow. I just walked through the fucking door. I walked through the door. Nice. Excuse me. Does anybody know where, like, the hair place is? I just want to update my fashion. What is this? Oh, this is Deli Bird Presents. Paddle goods, general goods. Rotom phone cases. Ooh! I like customization. Ooh, Sprigatito case! Foy Coco. I might save my money, though, because, you know, I am looking to spruce up myself before I spruce up my phone. But I do want to spruce up my phone. Wait, what is general goods? Oh, okay. I'm good, thank you. I'll make sure to come back. Because I definitely want the Spagatito phone case. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, does anybody know where the hair salon is? What is this? Is this it's all baked goods? I don't care about the food. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever for me to even try to find what I am looking for. I'll be back when I can find what I'm looking for. <sighs> this is the video, ladies and gentlemen. Me getting lost trying to find what I'm looking for. I guess I could always look it up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I finally found clothes and stuff. Holy shit. That would, took way too long. Unfortunately, I don't really like any of these. Oh my God, can I get out? Yes. That took way too long. Glasses. I won't wear glasses. I'll come back. I'll be back when I redesign my character and figure out what I want. I don't want this to be all you guys are watching is me trying to figure out stuff. I guess I'm happy with the way I look right now. I mean, I'm almost... That was glitchy. I mean, I'm almost out of cash now, so... I should have a code for a backpack that I got from pre-ordering it on the Pokemon Center. I don't know where I would find my code. Because the codes that came in the box with my pre-order were for 200 Pokeballs. Um... I'll find the code for the bag like after this video i've already wasted enough time changing my fashion so let's just get right into the story who the fuck are these people god am i gonna have to come up with voices oh they're grunts why does this dude over here look like fucking todoroki is it like Todoroki fused with Harry Potter? What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> I like his fit though. I suppose I should shut myself off and give a voice. Not really.
Should I come up with voices for them? Because they're just grunts. I'm just going to speak. Look, we got a quota. We're still supposed to fill for a new member. So just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Oh, it's a girl. My bad. Whoops. Oh, you want in on this too? Totally Roki Harry Potter's a girl. Whoops. You're here to sign up. We'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. What is this even for? We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No, I don't even know who the fuck you guys are. <laughs> oh no, a Pokemon battle. Oh my god, it's got one of those fucking shrudels. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell that thing is. Oh wait, is it a poison type? I shouldn't use. Ah, uh, it's Brigatito. Um, I should probably change my Pokemon. <laughs> but then again, do I even have anything remotely good for that? <laughs> Uh, fairy won't do. Hmm, not, not, not really. Uh, but I do want to change. It's what, a level eight? I guess we'll go with Falco. Because Biakia is not going to do shit. Against that little shrewdal thing. I guess I should have battled more trainers on the... Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is going to be... Not fun. Oh, there I did it. Good job, Falco. No, charm sucks. I know this. Do you know I've been playing since Generation 4? Well, actually, let me see your... Oh, yeah, my little shrewdel. <laughs> I guess we can do replace Lear with it. All right. I wasted too much time finding clothes. I need to get back into the story. Oh, shut up. I'm not voicing these grunts, they're nobody. Oh, just pussy out and run away. Oh, Namona's here now. I gotta shut myself off. Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Yes, Namona's a badass. 
I can't believe you, Kashiba. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you are trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, sure you weren't. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Oh, is this the Terra... Oh, yeah, it is the Terra Station. Station. Wow. <laughs> With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Spagatito will be a grass type. <laughs> Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs. But I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I explain it to you. Step on up, Pussy G! Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Wow. <laughs> then take it our places in battle. All right, let's see what this terrestrializing is all about. Wow, you got a young goose. It's gonna get effed in the A. So basically, it's like Dynamaxing or Mega Evolving. Oh, wow. I can't even use it unless I heal up. Gee, usually Dynamax, it's like... With Dynamax, I think it was like certain places I could do it and then like mega evolve I could do it once per battle all right let's tear still eyes wow look at this My Sprigatito went all crystally and it grew flowers on its head. Well, that was a one shot, one kill. Damn. So, what is she doing in the background? Oh my god, okay. Nice, Kashiba. You pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Moves of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your terror or about a Pokemon Center. I after ever use by healing up your team, though. I think that's kind of lame, honestly. Asta la vista, what? <laughs> so yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. 
Okay, so now I have to give you a girl voice now that I know you're a girl. We'll go with a shy girl voice. Uh, excuse me? I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, yeah, see you around. Oh, look at Yuru, Kashiba, already becoming a big hero around the campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Yay, I can't wait. Time to climb these stairs to Pokemon Hogwarts. Woo. Wow, that was awful. That was so awful that I, I'm, I'm dying. I'm totally dying right now. All right, are we ready to enter the school? Let's go. Mm, looks like Hogwarts, all right. But Pokemon style. Here we are, Kashiba. Welcome to UVA Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. In those halls off to the side. Lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Miss Kashiba, Miss Nomona. How did you find your first school commute? I imagine Miss Nomona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting anything any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nomona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Kashiba? Or, oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gate. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Kershiba flexed on them and ran them off. Yes, I flexed right on them, Professor. They, they liked my G. <laughs> that was terrible. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Kashiba. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nomona, do remember that school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good to report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. <coughs> God, his voice is so hard on my throat. But goings on? Okay, yeah, that's, that's English right there. You got it, sir. Ah, oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Kashiba. Come on, I'll show you the way. Fancy. Good. Wow. Look at how slow they move. They're like moving at like 5 FPS. 
Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Damn, look at this guy. Now I gotta come up with a voice for him. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, oh, me! I want to hear the news! Yes, the 5 SP and- Oh my god! The 5 FPS NPCs want to hear about it. I suppose I should have told you sooner. But we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. All right, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Did you hear that? She seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Kashiba. All right then, who wants to be the first person to ask our new friend a question? What's my favorite thing about Pokemon? Hang on, I gotta plug my computer in. Uh, I like everything. I'm. Oh my god. You look like fucking- you look like a fucking puppet. <laughs> Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me. I have a question. You went to all- You went to all the trouble of enrolling here. So spill, Kishiba. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Kashiba. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy. I'm also your homeroom teacher. What does bi biology have to do with Pokemon? That's your seat, second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Ragamuffins. <laughs> okay. We will, Mr. Shuck. Alright, I guess we're exploring the academy a little bit. Oh, uh, well, how does one get out of here? Great! Yeah, I, I would if I knew how to open the mini-map. That would be fantastic. Oh, the cafeteria. Yeah, we'll go to the cafeteria. And I can enroll in my own classes too, which is cool. I probably have to talk to dude from whatever. <coughs> oh my god. You. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all, buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Kashiba, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. Just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You got you gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they are agreeing to? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is... 
I'm all about the picnic life, the great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered with, will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. The herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Palada, and rare to boot. But this book says they'll, they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Titan Pokemon, okay. Where it, it's a it's attack on Pokemon, everyone. Cause see, Titans are well. I think they've got to be things like this. Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was. Mortally wounding, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance of the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate to say nothing of its treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to land a hand in either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you all sup. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. Then why ask? I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Oh, wow. Let it stew a bit and we can get more into this details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Give the idea some serious thought, please. So wait, am I choosing a path now? Oh. Who the hell is this? Oh? Who the fuck are you? Cassiopeia? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Operation Starfall. I don't know. 
I don't know you. I don't know you. Oh, hi, Clav. Or Clavel. Ah, Miss Kashiba. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young lady. Team Star, you say? Okay, so can I explore the other option? Like, enroll in classes and stuff? Yeah, what do you got? I'm interested. Let's do battle studies. Miss Dendra, sure. I guess we're going to class. Oh, she's cool. I like her. Asu, say hello to your battle instructor. The one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Asu is a karate thing, by the way. Look it up. My age, 25. Wow, she's the same age as me. <laughs> My hobby, working out. My type, well... Strong and muscular. Fighting types, of course. That's all for my introduction. As for my class, there is where you all get to learn the nitty gritty of Pokemon battling. We'll start with the basics so that no trainer gets left in the dust. Even if you're new to this stuff, have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set our fighting spirits ablaze together. Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves and at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power type and category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. Heads up, new kid. Question coming your way. There are two categories that attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? Awesome! You're just as sharp as I expected. New kid, looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories, physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. And special moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's special attack is. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having a high defense or special defense stat, respectively. In conclusion... Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat. And Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make your stronger points stronger. I always say that goes for both people and Pokemon. Aw oh man, I was about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we're out of time. We'll generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard, even for book learning. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? But class is over. Take care, you little rascals. Well, okay, that was something. Uh, what else can I do? Let's go to the staff room. Let's see what Nimona wants. 
I talked to the other dude, I forget his name, it was like Averin or something like that. Oh, we're getting right into- what is that? What is that thing? Is that a human? Or is that a Pokemon? Oh, that is a human. Okay, uh, one second. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my steed. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Watch this be a dude after I just gave him a girl voice. Oh, Kishiba, hey! Okay, it's a girl. Thank God. <laughs> Peak your inches, huh? That lady is, well, let's call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got Kuro practically coming out her ears. She's basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Oh, well, hang on. Though, I've got a whole spiel. I got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. The trainer who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of the seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get to the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on 8 Pokemon gyms and, and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we got he we got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to become a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map in case you decide to go for it. Give it some thought. Oh. Great. So wait. From the looks of it, I'm going to be choosing between fighting like titan pokemon and then going for gym ba badges well i guess we're going to the director's office and i'm gonna choose my path hello clavel thank you for coming miss kashiba have you been enjoying your time here at uva academy that is most wonderful to hear Now, you may be wondering why we could not 
have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter that they would like to discuss with you. Well, where is this friend? Ah, no. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh, hello, handsome. Hello, handsome. Oh, man. You look like somebody. I can't put my finger on who you look like, but hello, handsome. Hello, Kashiba. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the greater crater of Palida. Out of sight, known as Area Zero. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Kashiba, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maraden, is that correct? Thank you, I appreciate that you were, you were honest in confirming the facts. Oh, not that I. I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Oh, how good to see that you are. Well, it has been quite a while since we last met. Maridon was once in my care, you see. This Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Ar Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage the Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue to look after Maraden on my behalf? I do appreciate your agreement. Moradin has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Could this Pokemon have its origins with Area Zero? Taro. Don't tell me you actually did it. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, it seems that Professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way we are able to. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maraden. Well, okay then. Now what? Now what do I do? Do I get to go choose my path? Oh, there's Nimona. Hello, excuse me. Or, you're still here, Kashiba. Or, 
getting called into the director's office? How'd you land that in that much trouble already? Not kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Kashiba. Let's check. Let's go check it out. Whoa. Ta 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 I don't even know if I pronounced that right. From today on, this is your room, Kashiba. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy and you must be pretty worn out from all of this. Still happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. I guess now would be a good time to end the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Also follow me on Twitter at Kashiba Gamer Girl and on TikTok at Kashiba Chan. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey!